If you're on the ZK Sync ecosystem website for long enough, you will stumble across a few of the new games that have launched on ZK Sync era mainnet. Now, Tavera is one of the newer games that has launched and is actually live on ZK Sync era. There's some NFTs which you can earn by playing Tavera, and then they have another airdrop coming up where they're going to go ahead and give the top ranking players for this game an additional NFT. There is potential for ZK Sync to do an airdrop. If that does happen, using applications like Tavera will most likely get you a step closer to going and, and getting that, that airdrop. Let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing you really need to do is click on login. Then you're going to click continue with MetaMask. We'll go ahead and click play now. It'll link to our MetaMask. We'll have to add the ZK Sync era mainnet network if we don't already have it. So I'm going to go ahead and click Mint Citizen ID. We've got that real quick. We can also click and mint our Guardian NFT. So I'll go ahead and claim one of those as well. Even though we don't need this to play, I'm going to go ahead and add some karma because I feel like I might play this game a little bit in the future. Why not have it? So now that we're in here, we can click here, see our name. We can see our citizen ID. And then we can go ahead and connect Discord if we did want to jump in their Discord. The second thing you'll notice is this reputation score. So the more you play this game, the more your reputation score is going to increase. If we now scroll down and just click on play on web. This will go ahead and open the game for us. Once you're inside, you can click on the My NFTs and you'll see the Reformist Sphinx, which is one of the characters you can get. We also have the Magical Phoenix. This is the NFT that you'll be eligible to go ahead and get from an airdrop by placing in the top portion of the performers. If you are interested in getting this NFT, the description of this video, there's a link where I'll link to the Tiva website and they explain how to go ahead and get this character. So if we go back here, Tiva Run, we can go play on web. And we can hear there's some nice sound effects, which I'll keep to a minimum. If you did want to change the sound effects, you can go ahead and add them in here. One thing that did take me a minute to get the hang of in this game is that the W key is jump and the S key is to slide. And then, so this would be from the AWSD. You can also use the up and down arrow keys. Spacebar is not jump, spacebar is use your power ups. So let's go ahead and we will jump in here with quick play and we'll click the free to play where this is gonna go ahead and connect us with other players and we'll be able to play live. And so now we're in here, I'm in first place right now. And so I'm gonna hit the W key to jump. and space to use the power up. Of course, I kind of suck at this. So that's the lightning power up. I think it just strikes everyone with lightning and slows them down. Um, it took me a ton of times to, to go ahead and play this, um, but I would always get like second place for whatever reason. But I think this might be the first time I get first place. So this is like some rocket power up. It's actually pretty cool because all the power ups are named after like things in the crypto space. So they have like scam shield. Um, they have what else? Um, like rug pull or something liquidation um, from like leverage trading. I don't know. I thought it was kind of funny. Um, yeah, I'm the, I'm the worst at video games like this. I'm just so bad. Yeah, now I'm in second place. Um, yeah, like FOMO boost named within the spirit of the crypto space. Um, so yeah, very cool. I always get second place. I don't know what happens, but, um, anyway, yeah, that's the game. It's pretty fun. We can see this is me. Um, and you can see I'm a rookie level one. As you level up to rookie three, you have more like available to you. So if we click on home. We can now see we've got some skill skill rating. Um, so this is the rookie level. And when you get up to three, you can start playing. If you click on pool play and then you click uh, jet set go. This one, rookie level three. And then this one where it looks like you've got to start um, paying to play these things. I do kind of like it where they force you to level up your skill before you can just start spending money. I think that's kind of a cool addition in the game. So 
that's the game so far. If you're interested, check it out. Definitely something worth checking out. Poke around the ZK Sync ecosystem. If you are interested in that airdrop, this can help you get that. If you are interested in just seeing what applications are being built, this is the thing for you. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll see you guys around.